And number two, we have a, an inequality in involving logarithms to solve. And so once again, the way we're going to attack this is use a sign diagram. So the first step is to get everything on one side and zero on the other. I'm going to call the left hand side f of x. First step, find the domain. Do we have any domain considerations here? Well, we've got logarithms. And so to keep the logarithm happy, the argument of the logarithm, what's inside of it, has to be bigger than 0, which means x has to be bigger than 2. So the domain here is 2 to infinity. So when we go to make our sine diagram, this is the only portion of the x-axis we're going to be dealing with. Now we have to find the zeros. So we have to set the f of x equal to 0. And how do we go about solving this? Well, we've got a quadratic in disguise here. So I'm going to let u be log of x minus 2. And then in the land of u, I have u squared minus u minus 12 equals 0. Does this factor nicely? Sure. I get u minus 4 times u plus 3 equal to 0. From this quantity, I get u has to be 4. And from here, I get u has to be negative 3. I bring these back to logarithms, and I get log of x minus 2 is 4, or the log of x minus 2 is negative 3. Remember, log by itself is really log base 10. So I can rewrite this as an exponential. 10 to the fourth power is x minus 2, or 10 to the negative third power is x minus 2. And so what do I get for my final answers? Well, 10 to the fourth is 10,000. I have to add 2 to that. So I get 10,002. Oops, I got my x. So I get x is 10,002. Or x is... This is 10 to the minus third, that's 1 over 1,000. So it's 1 over 1,000 plus 2. Uh, which is, you know, it depends how you want to do it, 2,001 over 1,000. Alright, so these are my two zeros. And both of these, oops, I'm sorry, not that one. And uh, these are my two zeros. And both of them are in the domain 2 to infinity, so both of them are going to play a role on the sine diagram. Okay, so we've got the function, its domain, and we found its zeros. Now we need to make our sine diagram. So we know that since the domain is 2 to infinity, we're only going to be looking at this portion of the number line. And since the function is not defined at 2 itself, we'll put a little question mark there. And now we're going to look at the zeros. So if you look at the zeros, it was 2 plus 10 to the minus 3rd and 2 plus 10 to the 4th. Okay, so since these are kind of big, I'm going to call this one x1 and I'm going to call this one x2. Now, in order to pick numbers that are going to be, uh, that we can easily evaluate without a calculator, we're thinking that when we plug them into these logs, right, these logs are base 10. So I need to work that out so that when I plug an x in here, when I subtract 2, I get a power of 10. So that means that the x's I pick should be 2 plus a power of 10. 
And if you look, that's what these things are. Okay, these are 2 plus a power of 10, 2 plus a power of 10. So my first objective is to find a test value between 2 and 2 plus 10 to the negative third that's of the form 2 plus a power of 10. All right, well, I can pick 2 plus 10 to the negative fourth or 2 plus 1 over 10,000. All right, that'll be between 2 and this first guy, and it will um, make it easier to compute. So if I plug that into my function, when I plug that in, look what happens. I have 2 plus 10 to the negative fourth minus 2. That's going to give me 10 to the negative fourth squared minus log of, I plug that in here, subtract 2, 10 to the negative fourth minus 12. And what's log of 10 to the negative fourth? Negative 4. And so when you sort that out, you get 16 plus 4 minus 12. That's a positive number. Now I've got to find a test value between here and here. That's of the form 2 plus 10 to the something. And so I could just pick 2 plus 10. I could just pick 12. So I plug 12 in to my function. 12 minus 2 is 10. Oops, got to subtract. And so here, uh, log base 10 of 10 is 1. I get 1 squared minus 1 minus 12, which is a negative. Now I need to pick a number over here that's of the form 2 plus a power of 10. So 2 plus 10 to the 4th, I can get bigger. 2 plus 10 to the 5th, so that's 100,002. I plug that into the function. If I plug 2 plus 10 to the 5th in for x, when I subtract the 2, I'm going to get log of 10 to the 5th. And log of 10 to the 5th is 5. And so I get 25 minus 5 minus 12, which is a positive number. So, what's the final answer here? All right, well, um, what I was looking for is where the f of x is greater than or equal to 0. All right, so when I subtracted things off this inequality, I had the f of x bigger than or equal to 0. Well, let's see. Uh, it's 0 at these two points and greater than zero where it's positive. So I would start here not including the two and go over to the x1 which is 2001 over a thousand. Include that because that's where it's equal to zero. Union include the x2 which is 10,002 on off to infinity. So that'll do it for number two.